Hey everybody, this is example number two for mechanics of materials covering stress transformation. The problem statement that we have is the differential element shown in the figure below experiences a state of plane stress. The normal stress in the x direction is equal to negative 25 megapascals. The normal stress in the y direction is equal to 100 megapascals. And the shear stress is equal to 50 megapascals. And we need to find the principal stresses at this point and the associated orientation of the element that's associated with the principal stresses. So here's our differential plane stress element. We have a compressive stress in the x direction equal to negative 25 megapascals. We have a tensile stress in the y direction equal to 100 megapascals. And we have a positive shear stress equal to 50 megapascals. The first thing we're going to do is find the orientation of the element that's associated with the principal stresses using this equation. And the equation is tan of 2 times theta p, theta p being the, the, the angle associated with the principal stress, is equal to 2 times the shear stress divided by the normal stress in the x minus the normal stress in the y, sigma x minus sigma y. And I already plugged in the numbers and found this equal to be uh, equal to negative 0.8. And before moving further, it's important to note that this equation will have two solutions, theta p1 and theta p2, and they will be 90 degrees apart. So we'll solve for theta p1 first, and theta p1 is equal to the inverse tan of negative 0.8 divided by 2. And so that comes out to be, let me check, I made a spreadsheet for this example, and you, can, you guys can get the spreadsheet at our website at engineeringexamples.net. And theta 1 is equal to negative 19.33 degrees. 19.33 degrees. And theta p2, theta p2 is equal to theta p1 plus 90 degrees. And that comes out to be 70.67 degrees. And I also show this graphically here in black we have the original coordinate system and then in red we have the coordinate system the orientation associated with the principal stresses and here's the angle between x and x prime and that's equal to negative 19.33 degrees and the angle between x and y prime is equal to 70.67 degrees and the angle between x and x prime is negative because we've we've orient we've rotated the original coordinate system in a clockwise direction. So from x to x prime, it's clock we went clockwise, so that's why it's negative. If it was counterclockwise, it would be positive. Next, we're going to calculate the principal stresses uh, using this formula. Sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus the square root of sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 squared plus the shear stress squared. And so this comes out to be so principal stress, the maximum is equal to 117.54, and the minimum is negative 42.54. So 117.54 megapascals, and this is negative 42.54. Let me just double check that. Negative 42.54 megapascals. Okay. Now that we've calculated the principal stresses and the associated orientation, we just have to identify which principal stress is in the x prime direction and which principal stress is in the y prime direction. So, in order to do that, we know that the angle between x and x prime is negative 19.33 degrees. We found that in the first step, and we're going to use this angle now. We're going to plug this angle into the stress transformation equation. Here's our, here's our stress transformation equation, sigma x prime equals sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 times cosine of 2 theta plus shear stress times sine of 2 theta. So we're going to plug this angle into here in, cosine, in, in the cosine of two theta, 2 theta term and the sine 2 theta term. We're going to plug it in here. And we already know sigma x and sigma y and the shear stress from the problem statement. And this stress tra transformation Equation, I covered this in the previous example, so if you want to learn a little bit more, you can go to the example before this one. So we plug in the numbers and we find uh, sigma x prime is equal to negative 42.54. 
So that's negative 42.54 megapascals. And negative 42.54 megapascals, as I show here, is equal to sigma, uh, the second principle stress, the minimum principle, uh, the minimum principle stress. So, so this tells us that the sigma y prime will be equal to sigma uh, the maximum principle stress, and that's 117.54. And lastly, uh, we can just go ahead. I've also shown this uh, graphically. So the the element is orientated. Uh, it's orientated in such a way uh, that's associated with the principal stresses. And here's our angle between an x and x prime is negative 19.33 degrees, and between x and y prime is 70.67 degrees. And we have a compressive stress in the x prime direction. The, which is the minimum principal stress, negative 42.54 megapascals. And then we have our tensile principal stress maximum. It's 117.54 megapascals in the y prime direction. And this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and again, if you need the uh, spreadsheets, you can, get, you can access them at our website at engineeringexamples.net. And also like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash engineeringexamples. Thanks.